Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's day is June 8, 2023. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. Looking at this uh, currency pair, I'm going to outline uh, this area right through here. Uh, this area uh, has been uh, defining the top side and the bottom side over a period of time. On the top side, we have, uh, first of all, the level was a support level through here, a floor, if you will, uh, against this area right through here. And then it became a ceiling through here uh, before uh, breaking to the upside and trading last week. Uh, that uh, high price uh, came up to 1.0778 right here. But this uh, attempt outside of the red box failed and the market moved all the way back down and tested or retested the low swing area, which is as levels through here, here, and here uh, before bouncing to the upside of the last few trading days. Now, there has been instances where the price moved below the swing area, like right here, and again above the swing area right through here where all the most of the activity has taken place. But uh, for the most part, the market has been, uh, at least in this uh, trading range since, breaking below back on May 24th or 25th, somewhere around there. Uh, and uh, now we are up testing the higher end of that swing area after uh, what we saw in the way of uh, softer uh, initial jobless claims in the U.S. Uh, or so softer job state in the U.S., initial jobless claims moved higher to the highest level in 20 months, and that uh, indicates a weakening in the job market. And so uh, the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar is up testing that key uh, swing area right here at 1.0. 759 we had sellers on the initial move we currently trade at 1.0749 just above the lower end of this uh, swing area but you can see we did dip back below that level on the uh, initial reaction uh, with sellers leaning against the top side of that that uh, swing area so if the price is going to go higher we need to get above the 1.0759 level and stay above that level and then we'd start to look toward the high price again from last week which came in at 1.078 followed by the 38.2% retracement and 100 day moving average. Both of those levels come near the 1.08108 level. Uh, that level would be a, a key resistance on the top side for the dual reasons of the 100 day moving average and 38.2% retracement. Of course, the 1.08 level will also uh, be a natural resistance level for this pair. So, somewhere in between 1.08 and 1.08810. Uh, would be uh, the upside targets targets uh, for the euro versus USR, but we still need to get above the 59 level uh, off uh, in the uh, short term here for the euro versus US dollar. We'll see if the buyers can uh, push through. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.